All right, so right now you guys are watching a video that I filmed the other day, and I'm kind of just going to talk over it. So here right now I'm getting in S14, of course, that is now RIP. Rest in peace to the Kuki. Um, starting it up, about to go test out the new GoPro that we just got and go some street drifting. Should change here in a second. All right, so we are out at a local spot that um, I actually enjoy a lot. And um, we got Melina with the GoPro. She's taking off right now. I'm going to shortcut real quick until um, I actually start sliding, I guess you could say. <laughs> Alright, so here we are again with the S14. I came out in the corner. This is like a super cool line. I think the first time I actually messed up. She's a little bit distant, but um, as you can see, I was monging down this road. Went to pull the e-brake. The car kind of straightened up. My e-brake always kind of was a little funky. And then uh, spun out with mad angle. Yeah, I don't... God, the S14 looks so good. It's going to be so tough to build this next chassis to, like, S14 standards. <laughs> Shut up! It's going to be so hard to build my next chassis to, like, the standards of the S14. Like, just look at it right there. Like, oh my God, that car looked so good, dude. Fuck. All right, so here we are hitting the same line again. I got her to get a little bit closer. I actually nailed this line, so I'm literally riding the same line I just did. You can see the marks. It was like dually lines going down the road. I was I was very consistent in this car. And I got the e-brake right that time, and then brought around the corner. That was actually a street line that you guys never got to saw. That's why I included it included it in this video because um you guys never got to see that. But um now we're gonna shortcut over until. Um, the drift event day, which is all the GoPro footage. Oh, but before that, check out this. Look at that. Look at that. Look at, that. Look at it just rolling. Look at the fitment, dude. Look at the fitment, dude. Back to where I was at. We are going to roll over the footage to um, the drift event day, which was super fucking rad. Super rad. So, let's play some of the footage. So, I think Melina like hits her head or something. Yeah, she does like right here. Let me turn up this volume. <laughs> Alright. So yeah, here we go. We're taking off. This is actually my first run on bridge course, which was really rad. I don't remember if I got it first try or not. So, this is the first corner I kind of fainted into. Got it all the way around. Then you got a little like transition downwards, which is so fucking fun. And then um, coming around this big sweeper, which I should know oh, I'm straightening up a lot. Gauges are flying out. Yeah, see, I didn't get it. I went in a third and then tried it. And keep in mind, guys, at this drift event, I was in a stock SR car tune on, on a tune on 12 pounds. I was literally making, it's making 230 horsepower. So I was doing definitely pretty good. So here's run two. A bridge course, going to second gear, kick it out, hit a, a fan again, gauge is flying, Lena's trying to hold him. Let's see, let's see. There we go, transition really clean that time, my hands are very smooth, I've always been a very smooth driver, which I like about my style. I think this time I go nice and wide. Oh yeah, definitely wide that time. Hit third perfectly, but the car just didn't have the power. And as you can hear, we were super hyped up. <laughs> that was cool because I like I almost got it in that car, which was really fun. All right, we're going again. I think Melina just gave us the finger. Like yeah. This. Okay. Okay. I see how it be. Be. All right. So this is our third go at bridge course. Have not linked the whole track yet because I can't get third. Kick it out. Nice little smooth transition. I think I remember using the e-brake this time for this corner. Okay. No, it made it all the way around. Some people were having to use e-brakes right there, and she didn't hold it to me. Oh, I'm getting a little sloppy on the wheel that time. Kick it out. Uh, I don't know if I'm getting wide on that one. Uh, hit third hard. Did I make it? I would consider that almost making it. Because I know later in the day I actually did make it. I did the whole thing, but sadly I didn't get it on video. Oh, here we have another one. Let's see what this one is. But yeah, early, later in the day I actually completed the whole course in this car. With 230 horsepower, these guys were doing like LS cars and stuff. I made it happen. It was so dope. So 
here we are, I'm you know, holding the gauges again. Super smooth, you can see just my driving style, I love it. Not a, being cocky, even though I am a cocky dude, but I really feel I have a very smooth driving style and I love that. I drive super hard and like aggressive, but in the car, like if you ever ride with me, I'm really, really smooth in my truck. Alright, so we are about to try the biggest track in this whole place. And we are in an SR, tuned with 12 pounds, stock turbo, you probably can't even hear me. I don't think it's honestly going to do it, but it's worth a shot. This is the track I wrecked my car on. Yeah, this is the track that he wrecked. I think I'm going to drive it first. In the stock S13, let's see, so we were checking out the course, drove it all the way around. It was insane, dude, like, this, there's no way this car would do it. It would have to be, like, fourth gear, like, I'm not joking. But, um, we did give it a shot, and I did get the beginning part, which was all in second gear. And then later in the day, I did try to go to third, but it just wasn't happening. So I'll show you guys. Um, I'll show you guys that. Okay, so here we go. We're going into the big boy course. A little faint entry. Kick it back, nice and smooth. I think I did spin out on one of these, but I don't know if I have the footage to it. Nice and smooth. We're flying. It might not look like we're going fast, but like in this little stock S13, we are moving right now. Right here is where you're supposed to drag it out. Oh yeah, see I spun out and I went into the grass. But uh, right there is where you're supposed to hit third and just power all the way along this long straight, which I just could not make it happen. I think I tried later, yeah, but I don't have the footage to it sadly. And then later in the day I tried putting the GoPro on Quan's car, but it ended up falling off and for some reason the footage didn't even record it, as you can probably see on the screen of me putting on the camera. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed this cool little overlay sound video of the GoPro footage. It would have all been in the video of when we actually went to the drift event, but I left the GoPro and the GTO. So I just wanted to do a little video like this and see how it turned out. And um, I think it turned out pretty cool. I think it looks cool. I think it was fun to do, watch over my footage and talk to you guys about it. And I also wanted to do this to show you guys that, you know... I'm not in the S14, so it's not like I'm in, you know, a pretty badass car. I was in a stock S13 with coilovers and some suspension arms to get rid of the camber, so more grip, and a tuned SR20 on 12 pounds, and I was out there pushing that car hard and having a ball. It was so fucking fun, dude. Like, just get out there and drive. I hope you guys cannot hear this chainsaw in the background, but if you can, I'm going to end this video right now. Hope you enjoyed it. Like, comment, subscribe, as always. I never even say stuff like that, but I, I feel like how this video is, I'm like, it's like that kind of video. You guys, you get what I'm saying. If you don't, you don't. If you do, I do. If you do, whatever. I don't even know. I don't know if you're still fucking listening or not, because there's a black screen over my face right now. There's... I don't even know. There's a chainsaw in the background outside. <laughs> but we got something really cool coming. I'm working on a lot of merch. I know this channel isn't huge, but I know a lot of you guys really do support me. You support Garage Sideways. You support, you know, my vision. And without you guys, I wouldn't be able to do the shit I can do. And I'm hoping this merch drop absolutely kills it. I got something big planned. You will see. And the new chassis is going to be insane. And there's going to be so many cool fucking videos. And yes, the summer is almost over, but we are going to end it with a bang. Peace.